21 people only joined i think good evening sir yes good evening good evening this one good evening so no not to when we can start the class Dr. Vijayana, we can start the class. Okay, sir. Uh, we can start. Otherwise, it will be late. Uh, uh, only 22 are. Ah, oh, 22 are there, but I have sent remainder after remainder. But still, less people are. We can start. We can start. Okay, uh, okay, sir. Good evening, sir, and good evening, everybody. And is there anyone uh, who couldn't uh, attend yesterday's class? Is there anyone? Uh, we can continue that topic also so that we can record that if anyone miss, missed, uh, we can provide the recordings also. We can just go through that if. Ha ha ha. Uh, because. So that, uh, uh, okay. So. I'm not. Uh, so, able to see, right, everyone? Hello? Yes, 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 we can see. Okay, okay. So, yesterday we started with the data structure, okay? So, data structure uh, is a particular way of organizing data in a computer so that it can be used effectively. So, main idea for using data structure is that to reduce the space and time complexities of different tasks so uh, data structures are divided in five types so that is vector matrix array list data frames so yesterday we completed uh, vector and data frames so here um, i saved the code and uh, okay I'm doing okay mm. so here we are writing a vector that is uh, first we are uh, writing the uh, string vector of strings okay so here we are uh, writing an object that is fruits then uh, we are creating a vector uh, that uh, I mean a vector we can create a uh, so before that uh, i'll say what is vector okay so a vector is simply a list of items that are are of the same type and uh, we can create a vector using 
c function okay so here we created an object first fruits and uh, then we are creating a, a vector using c function c of banana mango apple okay so then we are that is okay fruits run it then we are printing the result using object so fruits running so we are getting the result here so next we are writing the number i can i mean numerical uh, vector so that is we can write using uh, again c function so here writing numbers that is object then we are uh, creating a numerical vector uh, then that is c of 1 2 3 so again we are running it then we had to type a object name numbers so we will we will be getting the result here okay then if you want to uh, create a sequence of numbers uh, like uh, that is a vector with the numerical values in a sequence so that we can create using uh, like numbers then we are creating uh, like a vector that is 1 colon 10 okay so first we are running it then numbers that is we are typing a an object so it will print in a series of numbers i mean sequence of numbers like 1 to 10 then Ah, then if we want to uh, find the length of vector, we can use length function, okay? So, here we can use length function of fruits. So, here we already run that uh, fruits, okay, this vector. So, no need to run again and uh, uh, we had to run directly length function. So, we are getting length of that particular vector that is 3 okay then other functions are like if you want to sort the um, vector we can use uh, same thing like okay this is the string vector and this is the numerical vector okay so here we want to okay here i'm running for your understanding okay then run it okay sorry Ish. run it then we are sorting the uh, like sorting the string vector as well as numerical vector so here sort function sort fruits so we can see result here that is sorted according al alphabetically so that is apple banana mango so here also we can sort numbers like numerical vectors so here you can oh numbers we didn't run okay then you can see result here 10 23 and 24 then if you want to access the data uh, we can use index numbers okay that is uh, if you want to access uh, first one like banana we can use okay fruits of one so that is uh, excuse me sir noble sir you are recording right yes yes i am recording but uh, if you can if also I... record it okay i forgot to record uh, I, I am so, recording if you can okay. also record it will be better so okay, if any okay, problem sir. happened okay i'll start now yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. okay then uh, you can run it then you will get the value banana so if you want to uh, if you want to get mango then you can write So you will get mango here. Then if you want to um, access first and third items, 
that is banana and apple so you can write like this fruits of then bracket a square bracket then c of 1 comma 3 so if you are running it i'll get banana and apple here okay then if you want to uh, um, I mean, if you want to print uh, all item except first, okay, first or second, that also you can use, uh, you can print using negative indexing. So here, fruits of C of mine, if you want to, uh, I mean, um, um, avoid this banana, then you can do first run, then you'll get only mango, apple. So then next what we discussed. Okay. Okay, next if we want to change the uh, value that is okay, I'll write here. So change the value. Okay. If you want to change a uh, value of the specific items, that is, if you want to change the value of banana to pear, then you can write like this fruits of one, that is in this one banana, then pear. Okay. You had to run it and you had to print the object name, that is fruits. So instead of banana, we got pear, mango, and apple. Okay. Now, vector is over. Next, we are moving to uh, data frame. Okay. So, uh, data frames means it contains a... Uh, I think it's recording, sir. So I just check that. Yes, yes, yes it's recording. Okay. So uh, data frames. So it contains data in a tabular fashion. Okay. So mainly the data in the data frame can be spread across various columns that are having different data types. So maybe the first column. Uh, can be a character while the second column can be an integer and the third column can be logical like that so it can be created using the data dot frame function okay so here for understanding we can create a dummy data set uh, to learn and uh, uh, to learn some data frame specific function so here we created a, a data frame uh, dummy data frame uh, using data frame function so data set then data dot frame uh, then function inside that we are we have assigned some values then we close the bracket and we run it okay then if you want to print this uh, data frame the we have to print this object name that is print data set so we got a dummy data set okay data frame so then if you want to know the class of data set then we have to use class function class of data set that is data dot frame okay then next one is if you want to know the number of rows in a data set that is what we created in a uh, data frame so if you want to know number of rows we can use n row n row of data set that is n row of data set is three okay row is three then if you want to know the column number column numbers of particular data set i mean uh, you can use n call of uh, data set that is five okay we are getting five here so then if we want to bind the two data set that is two uh, rows uh, rows of that particular data frame you can use r bind function so that is 
okay uh, we can use with an example here so df bind we are assigning a value uh, object then r bind of data set and data set then we had to write the object name here so here we'll get the you are binding the rows here okay so one two three then again aditya akshay seema Ilka. then here next one if you want to bind the column numbers column uh, column then you can use c bind function here same thing df bind then c bind then data set of data set then uh, we are binding here data set with data set okay then df bind then we are running here yeah i'll get column i mean you uh, already bind with a uh, column then next is like if you want to see the uh, first three column first three rows you can use head function here okay head function means okay we can head function of that particular i mean data set data frame name then if you want to um, get a three row then you will write you have to write three here if you want to get one row then you will get one okay okay you are getting one here then if you want to get last portion of uh, i mean last portion of that particular data frame you ha you have to type a tail function here okay tail of df1 then 3 so you'll get last three rows okay so if you want to get a one row last one row that also you can so last one you are getting last one row here so if you want to uh, see the uh, i mean if i want to see the individual class or data type or, uh, information of each column in a data frame you can use str function str of that particular data so then you'll get you will i mean you will get the result that is uh, individual class uh, result containing individual class or data type information for each column so here you can see like each column person this is a character data age is numerical data weight is numerical data so person is again like uh, estipating so uh, using struct uh, i mean str function you will get this one I mean this information then other thing is like summary function uh, so if you want to understand the statistics of particular data set you can use summary function okay summary of particular data set that is summary of df1 is equal to yeah I'll get the statistics of this data set okay Ma'am, okay. str of df1, what does it mean, ma'am? str means it's a function name, okay? It's a function okay. name. This is a data set name. df1 is a data set name. Here okay. we, uh, we have given that object name, right? That is data okay. set name here, okay? This is the uh, function name. str is a function name, okay? Inbuilt function it is, okay? So, it will return the individual class or data type information for each column okay ma'am okay we, str function uh -huh, each column so here you got no okay i'll run for again here you can see okay uh the person person means we created right we created a data frame yeah i understood ma'am ha, ha. so person uh that uh data column it's a character character yeah. data set right so age okay. is a numerical one weight is a numerical mm -hmm. data type ha so that thing then again it is repeating like person character why those because things? here we uh, okay we are he created uh, we bind um, because he created uh, like uh, extra column right here r bind we have given r bind so it is r binding bind means? r bind means row you can buy uh, you can bind rows 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 ha huh. here c bind means you can bind column 
okay ma'am ha ha that's why it is repeating repeating if you want to see another thing okay if i want to see that does it okay okay that does it that uh, then i'll copy that will work okay yeah now it's okay right okay 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 i got it okay. ha ha let's do okay okay then uh, data frames is also over today then we are moving to list okay so already i told you that the uh, uh, data structures are divided into five that is vector matrix array list and data frames so in that vector and data frames over now so we are moving to uh, list now okay third one so list means it's uh, list in r means it can contain many different data types inside it and uh, mainly the list is a collection of data which is ordered and changeable okay so to create a list use the list function list then function and okay we can write uh, this one okay create list okay okay we can create a list using list function so example this list okay this list then equal to list of okay list of any list you can write okay uh, i'm writing here apple then comma banana sorry banana then cherry okay so here we are we have created a list using list function so if you want to print the list you can use uh, print then this object name okay this object name this list print then this uh, ma'am ha uh. ma'am it's possible save this also like yesterday phone ma'am pardon like uh, you have been saving and sent and uh, setting as a, like a r file no ma'am you can also save this also like a r file no okay I, i'll i'll save it i'll set okay ma'am thank you ma'am okay okay yes i'll send it after workshop okay okay uh, so here you can uh, print uh, this list using print function or otherwise you can write simply this name okay this object name so here i'm running this yes. you'll get a list of file okay understood understood ma'am ha 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 okay then uh, if you want to access access the list similarly uh, because in uh, in vector in the case of vector we use that indexing right so you can use that index one uh, index uh, function so here also the first item means index one and second item has index two and so on okay so you can access the list uh, i mean um, items using same thing the this list that is object name then uh run okay so i'll get first one first if you want to get banana that also you can use you see okay then if you want to uh, change the value of a specific item that is value of a apple or uh, um, instead of apple if you want to change a uh, black current or something like that you can change using same similarly to vector you can uh, uh, do here also that is this list of okay square bracket bun 
then we are assigning the value to black current okay black current okay then you had to print this this list yeah instead of apple it changed black current okay black current banana and cherry so uh, next we are moving to our matrices okay so here i'm creating a new file okay then we are creating the r matrices sorry okay so matrices means it's a two dimensional data set that containing column and rows everyone knows right what is matrices in mathematics so same similarly uh, here also it's a two dimensional data set with column and rows uh, mainly the column means it's a vertical representation of data uh, while row means it's a horizontal representation of data so it can be created with the matrix function okay so uh, and we have but we had to specify how many uh, i mean rows and columns are the, that is using n row and n column okay so okay we can create a matrix using um, matrix function that is uh, this matrix object name what uh, you can add some other name also no problem okay matrix this matrix then we are assigning a value we are creating a matrix using matrix function that is matrix of c of 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 okay then we have to specify how many rows and columns are there so n row is equal to 3 okay then n column n column is equal to 2 we data length 7 is not a sub multiple of mul oh sorry It's done now. So then if you want to print this matrix, you had to write object name, right? This matrix. Then run. Okay, the matrix is created. So it contains n row, three rows, and two columns. Okay. Then uh same thing this is a uh, i like numerical uh, type of uh, matrix if you want to create a string matrix that also you can create using matrix a function okay so that is uh, same thing this matrix um, this, is, this is not getting ma'am some error unexpected symbol in this matrix symbol uh, we you just check that uh, uh, syntax and all every oh my comma yes ma'am thank you ma'am got, got it, it. Uh, okay, one, uh, okay. one comma is missed missed okay okay then uh, the, okay you can create uh, uh, similarly uh, you can create a string matrix also so that is uh, this matrix then again uh, matrix of matrix of then c of 
then you can write value here okay that is uh, same uh, anything fruits name every anything so i'm writing here fruits name apple uh, then sorry uh, comma uh, berry sorry berry here then Mm, comma uh, okay banana okay then again here also we had to mention the uh, end i mean uh, rows and column here okay okay one more we had to orange oh so here we had to mention rows and row is equal to two comma n column equal to two so run it then you had to print the matrix using this matrix yeah here yeah, you got a matrix containing that uh, two rows and two columns okay so here also if you want to here it is somewhat different for accessing the item so access matrix item is uh, you can use uh, that square bracket uh, uh simple and the first number will be uh first number will be one in the bracket uh, i mean first number one in the um, uh, bracket uh specifying the row position okay row position and the second number two means it's a um, column position that is if you are uh, accessing this matrix In square bracket, sorry, square bracket of one comma two. Okay, then you are getting. Oh, I have written banana. Okay, we are getting banana here. That is first row and second column. Okay. then the, if you want to get the whole row okay whole row uh, uh, that also you can access if you um, access using uh, one function okay that is if you are if you want to get whole row of this matrix you can write like this this matrix <laughs> Excuse me. Matrix then two comma okay then run it. Oh bye. Sorry. Two comma and run it. So I'll get all like all the uh, like row like second row okay if you can if you want to get first row then you can write like this apple banana okay if you want to get a full column or first column or second column that also you can do like this that is instead of here you can write column number so here i'll get all the I mean, first column details, that is full column, apple and berry. Okay, understood, right? Yes, ma'am. Ah, then, next is also over now. So, next, we are moving to... Mm, okay, this one, I'll save it as matrix. Okay, save as matrix.
then uh, we are moving to arrays okay so arrays means arrays so arrays means uh, uh, when if we are comparing to matri matrix and uh, matrix arrays is a uh, can have two dimensional matrix means it's a one dimensional data right so it's it, uh, arrays means it's a two dimensional data so we can use array function uh, to create an array and uh, dimension parameters to specify the dimension so if you want to create an array, how to undo the Syntax, ma'am. How to undo? Syntax undo. How to undo this matrix? Un, un. Why you want to undo that? If something is de uh, deleting uh, unexpectedly. Like replacing, replacing the elements. Sir. Replacing the elements. Oh, okay. Sir. Element. Uh, that you can a shortcut i forgot you can do backspace and uh, okay ma'am ha huh. normal you can delete using keyboard function right something, keyboard word. if unexpectedly deleting something in that how to undo you that? can do backspace and delete it no ma'am you can select that and delete it right no I don't want to delete that. Have huh. to re have to recollect that. Recollect? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I am okay. not understanding your question. Also, I don't know. Okay, if you want to do that, I'll check I'll it and uh, I'll check I'll it and the, if something is uh, if something uh, if some uh, syntax is. Unexpectedly, unexpectedly deleting. If I have have to stick on that, that's why. Oh, you had to regenerate that, that one. Ah, uh, yeah, that's why. That I don't know how till I don't know. Okay, I'll check it and I'll let you know uh, tomorrow or uh, otherwise you can message me in group. Okay, okay. same thing. That I'll check it. Okay, then we are moving to its uh, uh, arrays. Okay, arrays. I already said uh, compared to matrix, it's a two, two two dimensional data. So for creating array, we can use array function. Okay, so but we had to uh, mention the dimension here. The in in case of, um, I mean, in case of uh, matrix, we uh, we have given that uh, column number and uh, rows number, row number. Okay, so here we, uh, uh, I mean, we had to mention the dimension. Okay, so uh, okay, we can uh, write array like okay, this array. C of then this will create the uh, one dimensional array that ranging from 1 to 24 okay that okay here run it then this array yeah you will get a one dimensional array okay that uh, uh, that ranging from 1 to 24 okay then if you want to get a more uh, more than one dimension that is multi dimensional array then you had to mention the dimension here so uh, multi array that is if you want to create a multi array data array of array of this array okay array of this array because here already we created a vector okay so here we are applying a multi-dimensional i mean dimension to this array okay so 
array of this array then we are giving dimension d i m that is dimension here then equal to c of 4 comma 3 comma 2 okay running then we are printing it multi Yeah. Okay, here you are getting the result. This is the array that contain I mean that contain four rows and uh, three column and it is a two dimensional data. This is the dimension. If you want to get a three dimension array, so you can do like this. So you will get three dimensional array. So one, two, three. Okay. Then if you want to access the array items that here also you can use that square bracket here. Okay. So um, if you want to get that uh, okay, well, right here. That's a multi array and again square bracket two comma three comma two and run it. Okay, we'll get twenty two here. Twenty two. This one. So that it represent like the syntax, like it represent the first row position then column position then matrix level okay second level this is the second level where it is this is the second level right this is the row position like uh, second row then third column then this is the matrix level okay Then you can also access the whole row or column from a matrix in an array by using C function. Okay. So this, uh, okay, that also you can write here. This array of, assigning, then C of 1 to 24. Now already run, no, we no, no need to write this. Okay, we can access that uh, whole row and uh, uh, like, uh, okay, if you want to access the first row from uh, matrix one, you can write like this multi array. Per bracket, then C of one, okay. If it, you want to access first row from first matrix like matrix right so c of 1 then comma again 1 comma and 1 so you got 1 5 9 okay then if you want to get o 159 this one okay full row then if you want to get the first 
a column like full column from the matrix one then you can use this format that is this is the row right this is the row then here next you want to get full column number multi array full column details you just write comma then c of 1 then again so run it then you will get full column that is here like first column first full column of first matrix okay So comma means uh, before C function means it uh, like uh, uh, we want uh, we want to access that column. Okay, that means the uh, uh, that means this we are putting comma here, right? So it means that we want to access the column, and comma after after that we want to uh, like uh, in second uh, here also if you uh, comma after the C function that is after the C function comma after the c function it means we want to access the row i mean comma bef before c function it means it we want to access the column here so co comma after c function means we want to access the full row here okay then check if an at item exists in arrays so now why we are giving two commas See class of one comma again one comma is there no ma'am. Ha. Though we we like array means it's a uh, two dimension data right. We had yes. to give row column. I mean row details, column details, and dimension dimension of the particular set. Okay. So okay. here ha. So here this is the dimension. Okay. This is the first data set one dimension. This is the first okay. data set that we are meaning. But here, this is the if we are uh, giving comma. This comma is normal comma. Okay. If we are oh, giving. Okay, ha. So, if we are giving comma after C function, it means we want to access the uh, row, function. Ha, row function. And if before comma means we want to access the full column. Okay, ma'am. Ha, ha. If it is a matrix, no need to uh, put even like if it is an array we want to i mean we had to put this dimension details okay, okay. if we are giving c of one comma again one comma again two means the second means second data second data here you result you can see no three data three arrays are the three three arrays are three are the ha ha no it's a one okay. array but three dimension three dimensions are there one array but three dimensions are there this is the first data then second then third okay so third mean what mean a third dimension mean what ma'am how can we get that here we mentioned three right here yeah. we mentioned if you want to okay if we are giving uh, 1 to two. 24 one so 24. we will get two two dimension no first one first data set will contain first one to twelve Again, ah. second data set. No, this is the this is the one one data. I mean, one dimensional data that already created using one to twenty four. One dimension means full. Uh, that here you can see right. One dimensional data. Oh, uh, first one, one dimension. This is the one dimensional data. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. next we are creating multi dimensional data by giving dimensional details. This is the row details, then column details. We are giving two. So if we are giving okay, one, okay, we are get we will get we will get only one dimensional data. If we are we will be giving five, okay. No, sorry. We are giving five. You will get mm -hmm. five dimensional data. Okay, here we'll get. Then we had to five, five, one, two, okay, three, four, 
five. Five. Okay, ma'am. Like that. Okay, so okay. here also you can change if you want to get like if you want to get a second that uh, column of second data you can change like this okay second then you'll get 13 17 21 so this is the second one second one yeah second data set 13 17 first row of second data ah, set okay yeah. ma'am i get, ah, got like, it ma'am Ha ha like Thank that. You. Ha. Uh, then, uh, if you want to check if an uh, items are present in uh, particular arrays, you can use like uh, percentage in percentage that we uh, mentioned in first class. Okay, miscellaneous operator. So that uh, you can use uh, this operator. Okay, I'll to check. Sorry, an item exist. We can use this function, okay? Um, percentage in then percentage, okay? So, if you want to check uh, the two any value, okay? Okay, here we are checking. Uh, if the value 2 is present in particular array so how we can check okay this array now already again we don't want to create this one we are checking directly 2 then this simple sorry Symbol in sorry, in which data set? Multi array data set. Multi array. It's, uh, it's not. Okay, for identify, we'll creating again something happened again. I don't know. Okay, we are creating this array as we are creating. P of one sequence of 24 running, running it. multi array copy so we are taking two is present in this array okay so run it and we are checking two is present in this array so if it is present in this array it will uh, return the value true if it is not present in this array you will get false result that you can check like if you can check uh, 10 then 10 is present in this particular set i think uh, if it is not present in particular uh, 1 to 24 okay 25 then you can run it it will return false result okay understood right everyone got it 